Travelers are shocked to read of cases of items being stolen and damaged during the security screening process. And it's especially disturbing when the agents we trust to keep us safe are the ones behind it. Today we'll be diving into tips to keep your belongings safe from loss, damage, and theft at the airport. Last summer, two TSA agents were caught on camera stealing from passengers' hand luggage while distracting them during the security screening process at Miami International Airport. And this is just one case of many where TSA agents have been caught stealing from passengers. When we can't always rely on the system or the people around us, it's up to ourselves to keep our stuff safe. The first way that you can reduce your risk at airport security is by being thoughtful about the order that you place your items into the security screening bins. Start with the least valuable items first because the first things that you place on the belt will end up unattended on the other side for the longest period of time. For example, let your toiletries or a closed and zipped up suitcase go ahead of more valuable items like your wallet or your laptop. This approach not only protects your valuables from theft, but also from accidental damage, which can happen in crowded security zones, especially at peak traffic times. Whenever I pass through the Charles de Gaulle airport in Paris, which is way too often, the scene at airport security is complete chaos. Travelers are often in a rush to collect their belongings and in the process, they'll pick up and move bins and items that aren't theirs to get them out of the way. Let us know down in the comments if you know what I mean and hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Thank you. Situations like this happen at airports worldwide and highlight the importance of loading your items onto the conveyor belt thoughtfully from least to most valuable to reduce the time that the valuable items are left unattended and vulnerable. It's also a good idea to make your items easily identifiable. With many travelers carrying similar items, like a silver MacBook Air, adding a unique identifier to your electronics, such as a colorful sleeve, a distinctive case, or a simple sticker can help you quickly recognize which device is yours. This helps you spot your device quickly and stops others from accidentally grabbing it thinking it's their own. I found that using a case on my laptop sometimes causes a holdup at TSA checks because I'm asked to remove it, so a simple sticker can be a better choice to distinguish your device from someone else's. It's also a good idea to keep your devices charged so that if there is a mix-up, you can quickly power it on to find out which device belongs to who. And the tip to make your belongings easy to identify does apply to your luggage as well. I learned this one the hard way. When entering some airports, you'll go through an initial security check where your luggage is put through a scanner and then your ID is checked before you're even allowed to enter the airport. I experienced this in Egypt. The trouble was that after my suitcase passed through the scanner, it was nowhere to be found on the other side. It turned out that my nondescript black suitcase had been mistakenly swept up by a baggage handler assisting a large family and it was moments away from being checked into their flight. Whether you're navigating through a security checkpoint or you're waiting at the baggage carousel after a flight, luggage that stands out is going to minimize the chance of it being accidentally or deliberately taken by someone else. A great hack is to opt for luggage with bright colors like the V4 bento bag that I have here by today's video sponsor, Nomad Lane. Nomad Lane's bento bag is a traveler's dream when it comes to navigating airport security efficiently while minimizing the risks of loss or theft. In addition to the range of standout colors to pick from, the bento bag's organized compartments allow for easy access to electronics and liquids, helping you speed through security checks. It features discreet pockets and hidden zippers, ideal for securing valuables like your phone, wallet, and AirPods that can't be taken with you through the body scanner. The compact design also allows it to fit under the plane seat so you can keep it within sight and reach long after passing through airport security. I'll leave a link in the description to the bento bag that I have here as well as a discount code for you to save 10% on your next purchase. The next tip to keep your belongings safe during the screening process is to pack your items strategically with airport security in mind. You can always rearrange your items after security and before you board your flight. Keep in mind that liquids and larger electronics like iPads and laptops need to be taken out of your luggage and placed in their own gray security bin for a separate screening. Pack these items in an easily accessible pocket of your personal item bag so you can quickly pull them out. Definitely avoid having these packed in a zipped carry-on suitcase since it's not something that you're going to want to have to open up in the TSA line. Smaller valuables like your phone and wallet don't have to be placed in their own standalone bin for screening 
but they do need to go through the luggage scanner and can't be brought with you through the body scanner. A smart move is to keep these items concealed by slipping them into a pocket of your personal item bag or in a jacket pocket, then simply place your jacket in the bin. These tactics will keep your items out of sight, which is going to mitigate the risk of theft and it's also going to reduce your chances of you forgetting loose items in the bin as you go to repack on the other side of the security screening. Keeping your belongings safe also means avoiding setting off the alarm from both the body scanner as well as the luggage scanner. A passport is one of the only things that you are able to keep with you as you pass through the body scanner. Just ensure that it's the only thing in your hand and that it's clearly visible. You'll want to avoid setting off the body scanner alarm by emptying your pockets of everything else, including things like keys, coins, and even tissue paper. If you do set off an alarm, you will be subject to a manual search or your belongings will be subject to a search, at which point you are separated from them longer than you need to be. In an effort to prevent the alarm going off when your luggage goes through the scanner, it's a good idea to stay updated on what's permitted through security by checking the TSA website before your trip. You can also use the Ask TSA chat for quick clarifications on specific items. I will link to both of these resources in the description below for you. Another handy tip is to leave behind anything you think might be questionable, even if it's technically allowed. For example, you are allowed to travel with some bottle openers, including this one. However, anytime that I pack this in my bags, it ends up getting flagged by the scanner and then they have to do an entire manual search of my luggage before telling me that I actually am allowed to travel with it. Leaving these questionable items behind can help you sidestep situations that could extend or complicate the security screening process and keep you separated from your belongings longer than necessary. Preparing for airport security means planning ahead and knowing what to expect when you arrive at the airport. Consider enrolling in services like TSA PreCheck to breeze through security with shorter lines for less than $100 with a 5-year validity period. It's a game changer, often reducing wait times to under 5 minutes. Not all services may fit your budget or be available due to citizenship constraints. But not to worry, many airports offer alternative services like the Reserve Fast Pass, letting you book a security time slot in advance for free. You can also use handy tools like the MyTSA app and tsawaittimes.com to check for any airport delays or security wait times before you even head to the airport. That way you are never caught off guard. But even if the TSA line looks clear, aim to arrive at the airport with more time than you need. I still aim for three hours in advance for international flights and two hours in advance for domestic flights. This should give you enough time so you're not flustered at security checkpoints or feeling the need to rush. And if you do require any additional assistance, know that there are free programs like TSA Cares that offer free support and guidance through the screening process. I'll include links to all of these for you to check out in the description. It's also important to be aware of and on the lookout for scammers. One common scam to be on the lookout for involves a distraction technique, where one person engages you in conversation before you walk through the body scanner while their accomplice takes your items from the other side of the security line. These scammers could be fellow passengers or even airport officials. Scammers in the airport security line may also try slipping their bin between your bins to slow you down and separate your items. This creates a distraction, making it easier for them to snatch your belongings while you're delayed. When traveling with others, a smart move is to space out your turns going through security. By not all going at once, you can watch over each other's belongings, ensuring that nothing gets left behind or tampered with during the screening process. The key to dodging any scam is being quick to recognize the red flags. I'll leave a link in the description and put a video up on the screen now covering the most common and the most costly airport scams. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join us back here for more travel tips and hacks each week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in that next video soon. Bye!